So close to 18 years ago, the Lord opened the doors for us to go to South Africa. And I remember taking our um, oldest, who's now 23 years old, Faith Diamond. She was a little girl, and she was so touched that she took her shoes off, and she gave them away. Just a little girl recognizing the need and just giving her shoes away. That impacted her life so much. And throughout the years, we continue to pray, Lord, what is it that you desire to do with Faith World Church, with South Africa? And as the years continue to go on, we would, we would continue to visit South Africa. And just last year, the Lord gave us a building in South Africa. Us here as a church, Faith World Church has a building. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, somebody. Give him glory, honor, and praise. And so it's inside of an eco-village. And so that village is gated. It has grass. A lot of these children never even, they play in dirt all day long. So for them to experience, to be able to go into a village that has grass, just the grass alone is a big deal. So right when you walk into the village, the building straight is ours. So it's so beautiful because it's like right there. And so that building is called the Warriors Academy South Africa. And our mission is to bring in girls that have gone through gender-based violence, and we restore them and we empower them. So we believe in not just giving them a fish, but we want them to learn to fish for themselves. Come on, somebody. We don't just want to give them a hand out. We want to give them a hand up. So... When we're not there, when we go twice a year, but when we're not there, we want them to continue to um, multiply the goods that we have brought them. So one of the things that we're doing is called business in a bag. So we're taking goods with us, and we're going to teach them to become businesswomen and to multiply their money by the goods that are in that bag. Come on, somebody. One of the other programs that we're going to be running is we're purchasing sewing machines. Somebody gave us the money to be able to purchase five sewing machines. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Give him glory. So we're going to purchase the um, sewing machines out there because we want to invest in their economy. And so we'll take that, those sewing machines, bring it into the eco-village, and then we're going to train them on how to sew because there is a need right now for school uniforms to be made. So now we empower them, heal them, get their relationship with Christ, their souls healed, their spirits heal to be able to hear God and then empower the work of their hands. Now we're going to teach them to sew. So now they have their own business of making school uniforms. Come on, give God glory. <laughs> One of the other programs that we're going to be um, working with is called the menstrual cup. For those of you that may or may not know, women with menstruations are now able to use a little menstrual cup to pick up all of the menstruation and then toss it out. One of the issues that has happened in the village and in the villages and in the communities um, there in the impoverished areas of South Africa is that the girls will miss school because of their menstruation. Because if you think about it, they don't have water. They don't have somewhere to take a bath like we do. The missionaries that went with us last year, do you want to know how they used the bathroom? They dug a little hole in the ground. They used the bathroom and they covered it. You guys felt that, huh? When we went out there last year, we were, you know, Jonathan was running around with the kids. Jonathan, where are you? Oh, you guys got up here too. Okay. Jonathan was out there running around with the kids and afterwards they were all asking us for water. And I was like, why are they asking us for water? And I was like, Oh my goodness, hello, they don't have water, Jennifer. And it's just like those things that hit you because it's things that we take for granted. So we were able to dig a well, so now there's water in the eco-village. <laughs> Praise God. And so now we're going to go out there. We have, we've been blessed to have 50 menstrual cups. So now we're going to do a training and teach the girls how to use the menstrual cups. Now that they have water, they can clean them out, and now they can go to school. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Give God glory, honor, and praise. 
We're going to be running a few other programs. So thank you so much for those of you that sowed a seed and just really, really come alongside me and say, man, Pastor, how can I be a part of that? So you're able to hear the program and the different things that we're doing. And we're just so excited to be able to go out there as a church. This is, you're also being, you may not be able to go, but you send these missionaries to be able to go. And we all become the hands and the feet of Jesus. Amen. So, Pastor, you're going to come. You're going to send the blessing. I know they're going to pray, but, Pastor, you've got to come and um, bless us as well. Yeah, we just want everybody to rise because this is not just a little thing. This is a big thing. See, they're going on your behalf to another country, not just to another city, another state, but they're taking chances to go into another country. But that's why we're covering them and watching over them with the blood of Jesus. And we need you to really pray and intercede that right now that God will speak favor and open all doors that need to be opened over their lives. So let's all rise up and ask God as pastor, and, and raise your hands and, and intercede for them as pastor blesses them in this time. The Bible says, beautiful are the feet of those that take the gospel uh, to places where the gospel has not been preached and that become the feet and the hands of Jesus Christ. And that's what these missionaries are. They are, they're going and they're doing apostolic work. The word apostle means to be sent or a sent one. And so we as a church, uh, apostolically, if you will, are sending this group out to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So let's pray for them. Let's pray for divine protection. Let's pray that God keep them and watch over them in the name of Jesus and set angels around them. Father, we just pray right now for this group of missionaries that are going out. Thank you, Lord God, for providing for them supernaturally. Thank you for touching men to give unto their bosom. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for touching people that could not go but said I will send you and I will support you and so father we thank you right now we ask for the blessing of the father of the son and of the Holy Ghost over these missionaries I pray right now that you would even turn their heart as they are over there God I pray that you would raise up missionaries dear Lord people with a heart for missions people with a heart for the nations in the name of Jesus of Nazareth I thank you that for many this will not just be a uh, once and an isolated situation uh, an isolated mission trip but God there is going to be the turning of the hearts father I thank you that you're calling these dear father to the nations you're calling them to the nations you're calling them to be the hands and the feet and the mouthpiece of Jesus Christ the oracles of God. Father, I pray for wisdom. I pray for grace over them in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. I pray that you do with them beyond what they can ever imagine or even think. I pray that when they open their mouth, you would speak. That when they open their mouth, you would speak. That when they open their mouth, you would fill it in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now. And Father, I pray and I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover them as with a hedge of thorns, dear God, in Jesus' mighty name. Keep them from this city to their destination and back in Jesus' mighty name. Bring them back safely, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout, Amen!